Hello there, a new day, a new project. You see, I have this little uh, vacuum cleaner and I want to fit some of these uh, lithium cells. You know, it's old and uh, the original battery pack, I think it's nickel cadmium or nickel uh, metal hydride. It's gone, it's not charging anymore. I was thinking, I already have those cells recycled from laptop batteries, why not? having some cells inside here. So this little one will be for my own use because when you do a change like this, you know, to have these lithium batteries, you can't charge it anymore with the regular power supply. So I have to use my uh, lithium charger for that, my uh, charson. But like I said, it's for my own using. So uh, this one will clean uh, fans and, you know, things around my workbench. Okay, so let's start dismantle first. Okay. I said dismantle, not destroying. So it was somebody trying to fix it before. So we have nine of these. Yes, they are in series. I don't have anything about voltages here. Nine cells in series and we have like 1.2 volts, nine, 10.84. So that means if I have three of these in, uh, in series, then I have around, let's say 3.7 times three, 11.1 volt, perfect. So we have to have a 3S pack. So far, these are the best cells I have, almost uh, 1.6 amps. So I'm gonna use three of these, let me see. And I'm thinking about having another three, 3S2P. Three So here we have the pack. Now let's have the plus here somewhere. So we have the plus over here and we should have the minus down here. can have a test. Great. I really don't have a problem with having this pack just laying around like that. What we got here. So we have a couple of transistors and I suppose this is the charging port or system. You see the point is that I don't need all this mambo jumbo for charging or maybe why not so let's see if we can have a steady charging battery low voltage okay so if it's low voltage here then we can use this connection so i'm afraid i don't need those electronics here let me see what is happening and also there are a lot of cables so if we go like this this red one from here this is the bed okay so i'm gonna have this red one from here yeah going straight to the charging like this and the minus from here here. Oh, we have the minus already. Let me see. We attach the charging cables. Do we have a charging current? So this is plus and that should be mine. Yes, we have for sure. Look there. Perfect. All I have to do now is to put all the things together and sorry. And this is ready to do the job. I 
don't want to use too much tape because I just want to let this to have enough air to breathe. This goes back in place. We have a fuse over here and this is nice. Okay, so we have a problem with this wire over here. It should be connected some other way. Yes, and I will connect it over there near the, the switch. More power, please. Wow, it's plenty of space over here. I have to do something about that. Job done. All we have to do now is to put the screws back. Yeah, it's pretty okay. It could be better. And now all I have to do is to mark over here plus and minus for charging and we can write it here plus so like I said before this is for my own use so it will be no problem for charging because I'm antimatter charson for charging this uh, elements here and let's do a charge and it's pretty good pretty powerful Okay guys, so this is the this is the final result. This is the final result, the new uh, lithium 18650 cells to my personal vacuum. So this one will be used only by me, uncharged by me. And there we go, noisy. Also, I can use it for for cleaning, uh, for cleaning laptop uh, keyboards and for whatever things like this. Okay, a new life for an old thing, still useful and still running great. Thank you for now. I'll be back soon in some other projects. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to have fun. Be safe. Bye bye.